after you're aware of, if you're address the validity or the... Listen, yeah, I'm going to address it. I address this every year. There are, around the league, there are, every GM is having 10 to 15 discussions a day. So, did somebody mention any specific trade you have? The answer is probably yes. Okay, that doesn't mean it's considered or, or anything else. I mean, if we're going to go through, I mean, I'm sure Jeff had 50 things discussed yesterday. So, all these rumors and stuff, look, I mean, I know it's fun for everybody that you've got some source somewhere, and it's also all bullshit. I'm not denying that discussions take, they take place all the time. That's a lot different than considerations, you know. Somebody says, hey, would you consider Ricky Rubio for Reggie Jackson? Well, did that, dis- that discussion might have taken place. And clearly we didn't make that move. So I don't know if we want to report on all of those, you know. We wanted to see if they'd go Benege for LeBron. So that discussion took place, okay? I mean, it took place. I mean, if I ask about a guy, that discussion took place. I mean, it's just, it's all so much bullshit. So, and unfortunately, the players, unfortunately or fortunately, the players have to deal with it, and they've learned that all the media stuff is full of shit, and so they can pretty well ignore it, because I would love to do sometime, I said this to you guys last year, I would love to do something, take all the rumors that come up over the course of the year, and really chart them and see what percentage of those ever happen. I would love to have that. It's got to be less than one percent. Greg Easterbrook used to do that for the NFL. He would go back and went back. Like all the Brett Favre stuff, yeah. this is going to happen. He actually would do that yearly on a yearly basis. And it was a very small... Yeah, it's got to be yeah, It's got to be less than one percent. But I get it. It's like fun and everybody gets excited. And, you know, I've always said, I don't know, the draft and trades produce more interest in fans than the games. I mean, that is, I've never understood that because I am a fan, I'm a football fan, I'm a baseball fan, and that stuff doesn't interest me unless it happens. It does, I'm different as a fan. Like I don't, any of those rumors, you know, uh, when Sue was leaving, he's gonna do this. I, I didn't care until it happened. You know, I don't care about the Tiger stuff until it happened. I actually care about the games, but, I guess there's a lot of fans who get more excited about all that stuff, and so this is why we run all this stuff through. So.